But now, my friends, let's regroup as I'm going to sit down with the founder and also the newly appointed CEO of Crowd1 in another interview. Stay tuned. So a warm welcome to my talk show corner here, where I am joined by the founder and CEO of Crowd1, Jonas Egg Banner, of course, and also Yuan Vestadon. So a warm welcome, gentlemen. Thank you Thank very much. You. Thank you. Yuan, I thought I would start with you. You're currently the CEO of Crowd1, and I mean, the company has had a tremendous growth, really astonishing, and um, you're also scaling very quickly. And in your role, how has this year been for you? I would start with saying how honored I am to taking on this role as the CEO uh, and to work with all the great people, the hardworking people, both in the company and in the network, all of you out there. Uh, but 2020, I joined in January when we were around 1 million affiliates around the world. Mm. And then we have become 10, we have become 20, and we even more than that today. Mm. So it has been a very great year in many ways. We have also had the opportunity to launch Live Trends, Mixter as a fantastic product, and today the Epic One Lotto. Mm -hmm. So I would say like the, the name of the last uh, product we're launching today, it's had been an epic year. Mm -hmm. And I know that the motto of the company is impossible is nothing and the power of easy and, and the motto and vision of you, Jonas, as well as the founder. How have you seen this year? I mean, you've grown from 1 million, you've grown to 20 million. What do you see in the forefront? Yeah, it has been a, a, a very special year, of course. Uh, the world has have, have changed a lot. And, and uh, so there is a lot of, lot of new, new things uh, happening every week. You never know what's happened the upcoming week or the upcoming month. So we have been uh, changing a lot of things uh, this year. We are being, uh, even that we are an online company, we have been uh, very much online in a very short period of time. Mm. And uh, it has been a huge challenge. Uh, but uh, all the all the people in the company, in the management, have been working day and night mm. uh, to be able to to upscale the business, and uh, and uh, yeah, now in the end of the year, we are we are, we are really prepared for for the future, and and we have learned a lot of things, and uh, yeah, going from one to to twenty one million in a year, it's mm. it's uh, it's exciting, yeah. but it's also uh, a really big thing to to be able to handle, mm -hmm. but we have done it. And it's nearly like looking at this year, we call it an unprecedented year. I mean, of course, we have had a pandemic and all of what that has involved. But I mean, the unprecedented growth that you mentioned that Crowd1 has had, what kind of challenges does that imply? You want if I start with you? I mean, when, a, when an organization grows like this, mm -hmm. I mean, we are 21 million people today in the network that the biggest challenge is to get the, the company, the internal organization, mm. to grow at the same phase, mm. to be able to serve all the, the affiliates doing a great job out there around the world, to be able to meet their expectations on all different markets. And yes, there have been a number of challenges. I mean, we have just relaunched the C-Store. Mm. There is a new product already ongoing to upgrade that next the next version so we are all the time needing to find the right people to get this going and we have been very lucky and got a number of fantastic people into the company during this year uh, and we have just moved to a much bigger office uh, where we are able to get the groups together in a better way and to get the the, the workflow and the processes up and running in a smoother way so, um, yeah, we moved in last week, and uh, that is really something that I'm looking forward to, mm. to see how that will help us to serve and to be a better uh, partner for everyone. And, and you know, so I'm thinking, speaking of challenges, of course, the challenges creates possibilities. But looking at, you know, your vision, and this has sort of ex maybe exceeded your vision for the first year. So how, and you, you do events every single month, and every single month there's, you know, launches. I mean, there's so much going on behind the scene. How do you sort of facilitate all of that? And how can the vision continue to grow and, and keep on leveraging? 
First of all, uh, a big reason that we are where we are today is, is the amazing people uh, in the company. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will take the opportunity to thank you, Johan, for the great job you do every day. Uh, I, sometimes I try to leave the office uh, to be the last person at the office, but I, I fail very often because there's always people, people there. And, and uh, the group of people in the company is growing mm -hmm. every week. And as I said before, uh, they have been working day and night. Mm. Uh, and, um, and we have just started. Mm. Uh, it, it's, it's really cool that we are uh, the amount of people in the network that we are, but we have just started. And, and, uh, and uh, I remember like six months ago when there were some journalists said that we, we wasn't deliver any products and services, mm. not enough with mm. products and services. And uh, I don't hear so much from them anymore uh, because, as you say, we deliver every month mm. uh, with higher speed than any other company in the history in this industry before us. Mm. And, and we will, in 2021 and 22 go on with the same speed because now we know how to do it. And we have uh, a streamlined organization. And, and uh, as much as this year has been a, a very strange year, a very tough year, it have also also helped us mm. to, to be much better mm. than we probably would have been mm. without everything that had been happening in the world. Mm. And of course, I mean, a company with such exponential growth, growing so fast, scaling so fast, of course, you have to have the best of the best. And I mean, you have an amazing team, but also it requires quite a lot of leadership, not least that we live in a world where you work remotely, you're more digitalized. How do you see that in your role as a CEO or leader in general? How is leadership evolving? I mean, the, the, the hard parts of being a leader in, a, in the last year has been that people are, as you say, remote. Mm. We are having digital meetings, we have digital uh, events, we are not meeting people directly where you can feel and touch each other mm. in, in the sense of uh, driving the force, power and face over to other people in a different way. Mm. So I, I say that uh, one of the largest challenges is to get the information going out in a, in a positive way, going the power out to people around, mm -hmm. both in the organization, but also in the network to, to get everyone involved and get the feeling that they are a part of something bigger that mm -hmm. is growing and that is mm -hmm. really running forward. It's not just moving forward, it's running, it's on full speed ahead. Mm -hmm. um, so that is probably the, the toughest parts of it. But uh, as Jonas said, we have a tremendous team, mm. both internally and uh, leaders in the network that are fantastic of driving this. And we are getting better and better, but still we have a lot of things to improve for 2021. And that will be one of the major challenges for next year to get the, all the processes and the information and the, this type of uh, powerness out to everyone. And uh, yeah. And one more thing, mm. you need to trust people. You mm. need to work with people you trust mm. and let them go forward, mm. do the things, because you can't be there. When you don't sit together, you can't be there all the time mm. to guide them. You need to have clear information, discuss things, and then let people drive the, the power, the projects, or whatever it is for themselves. And I guess that's also a really good piece of advice because, I mean, the members that you have, the 21 plus yeah. million members, are in their sense, their own franchise and their own company and also needing advice on leadership yeah. when you grow in scale. So what would you say, Jonas, to all the members out there? What, what do they need to think about? Now it's we're coming to the conclusion of a year, 2021, it's going to accelerate. What, what sort of, what's in line for them? What should they be thinking of? First of all, I want to thank them all the members around the world because because uh, what we have done uh, this year is something that no one have done before us mm. and we have not only been breaking all all former records in in online network uh, in the network industry um, we have been beating most records online mm. uh, and uh, of course uh, when we do do that at the same time as we have the global lockdown with the pandemic. Uh, it's it's um, yeah. It, it, a lot of the networkers have been uh, they have they have done things that mm. no one have done before. Great leadership mm. have been formed around the world, mm. and uh, and uh, it's a privilege mm. for us as a company 
to, to have this global network and, and it's growing really, really fast. Uh, but I wouldn't change it for anything because I know that, that uh, with, the, with the, what we have inside the company and what we are preparing for the next year, uh, together with the, the global leadership will change everything. And, and sometimes, and finally, it's also important to understand that, that even that we have this tremendous growth and, and uh, are bigger than, bigger than most companies in the industry, actually, we are the biggest. Uh, uh, it's important to understand that we are a little bit more than a, a year old. Yeah. Uh, most companies, after one year, they are startups. They, they are, are trying to find a red line in, 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 the, in the business. We, have, we, have, we, we had to grow up really, really fast and do things that, that companies that have been in, in, the, in the business for 10, 20, 30 years mm -hmm. struggling with. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we had to learn, us, learn how to, to handle it mm -hmm. within like one year. Mm -hmm. So, so um, yeah, again, the crew of people that we have in the company, I wouldn't change them for anything. Mm -hmm. And looking at the turnover that you've made, I mean, it is an amazing journey that you that you are doing, and you're also paving the way for the industry. So, last but not least, what do you look forward to in 2021, Iwan? I look forward to uh, see this growth uh, continue mm. and even uh, take off even more because I think we have so much fantastic products in the pipeline, mm. so much fantastic people around us mm. uh, that can do this, and this could be a year even better than 2020. So I'm really looking forward to 2021 mm. uh, with a very, very positive mindset mm. and a lot of energy. And, and Jonas, Mixter, Epic Lotto, I mean, a lot has already been launched. Yeah, what, what? it's great products, great services, but it's nothing compared to what we are going to do in 2021. We will, I have been saying it this year, but, but uh, the preparations that we have done, with with uh, with products and services that I know that people hundreds of millions of people around the world will love mm -hmm. and and they will also change the life for hundreds of millions of people we are, we are soon ready to deliver things that will yeah uh, people will be amazed and and uh, 2021 for sure will be will be uh, <laughs> better than this year yeah. that's for sure well, I'm sure I and all the members look forward to be blown away. And thank you so much for all that you're doing. And the best of luck going forward. Merry Christmas and stay safe and healthy.